What's going on guys? It's your man Chukubu Ikem and it has come to my attention that many of you want to be able to share your workflows but you don't know how and some of you want to be able to use some other people's workflows but you don't know how. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly. What would happen is in order to share your workflow what you have to first have is the Comfy UI Manager, and if you guys don't have that, I have a video ready for that as well. And now that you have the Comfy UI Manager, what you're going to do is that you're going to come and click this little cog right here. Then you're going to click Enable Dev Mode Options right here. So then you're going to click that. Once you click that, you are going to see this new button, Save API Format. That is the JSON file that you'll be able to save your workflow in that you can now share with others. So once you save this API format, it would say workflow API JSON file. Now, of course, you can always rename it. So I'll rename it to, let's say, anime girl. Boom, bap. Click OK. And now we have this JSON file. So check this out, right? If I delete everything here, I want to delete this whole thing. Delete, delete. I just deleted every single thing, right? Boom, it's gone. Everything's gone. If I click load, Oh, and open up this anime girl JSON file I just made and open it up boom we are right back to where we started and the same thing would apply for when you share it out with others we're friends whoever now understand that just because you imported a workflow it doesn't mean that you're going to get the exact workflow that the person gave you every single time so for example this seed right here is supposed to be connected to this case sampler and there should be a spot for seed to connect here but there isn't but if you see in the original prompt you'll see right here this seed is connected to this case sampler so something happened in the import that kept the workflow from being exact so you got to watch out for stuff like that and i'll give you a couple more examples of things like that throughout the video so understand that as of right now in the beginning stages of comfy ui it is just as important to get a picture of the workflow as it is to get the workflow itself you kind of need things to match because what just happened does happen every now and again and i'll show you some examples but so far now you have a whole workflow and when you get really good at this stuff you'll be able to look at people's workflows and know where certain things belong and where to connect things it'll get easier the more that you do it but in the beginning you know just taking workflows is tricky so but now you know how to use workflows if you appreciate this video make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you can get more content like this for your ai needs and there are great places where you can get other people's workflows as well that i'm about to show you guys right now there are pretty much four really really good websites for comfy ui workflows and it would be comfyworkflows.com openart.ai workflows run diffusion.com slash comfy UI dash workflows and the comfy anonymous UI examples that you can also download their workflows as well. So we're going to quickly run through them. Each one has a few things that are really, really important to know. So with comfy workflows, this is probably the most popular one of them all. There are so many workflows that you can download here and you can also upload your own workflow to others as well. All you really need is that JSON file. Then you would come up here to the top left and click share art dot workflow. Then you would click this and then you would actually navigate to where your comfy UI outputs are. So mine are in the desktop in the comfy UI windows portable photo folder. Then I click in the comfy UI. Then I would go to output. And now it does depend on the type of workflow you have. The one that I just showed you is an animated diff image to video kind of workflow that I went over in my last video. But for me, I'm not going to actually put in the video output to represent the workflow. I'm going to put in the image uh, input to represent the workflow. So it's kind of weird, but uh, if I put in this video workflow, it won't work. So I have to put in this image input. So I'm going to put in the image that I used for the workflow and then I'm going to name it uh, or rather, I'm going to give myself some credit. So I'll put in uh, Chuckavelli, uh, Chuckavelli uh, workflow. And then the title would be Beautiful African Anime Girl. And then you could just copy that, put that in here. Um, whether you want to put art or workflow, it really doesn't matter. Um, just make sure that you're choosing whichever one you're, it's, it's up to you. It's whatever it's intended to be. And then um, mine is in fact suitable for work. We're going to leave that box unchecked. But if it were not suitable for work, you would need to check that box. All right, guys. So now we're going to click share and it will go through. And boom, now you see that I have my workflow right here. We can open the workflow. It'll take me right to it and I can always download the workflow like usual. And like I said, I can come over here and delete this whole workflow like, like I did before. 
delete this whole workflow delete 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 and then what would happen is I would now load in the workflow I just downloaded this bad boy right here the newest one and then boom we have the workflow now uh, this image was the preview image before I actually ran that so that's why this came with it but yeah we have the whole workflow and if I click Q prompt boom yep we have the same image yet again or rather the same animation yet again yeah comfy workflows is just a great place overall for you to see how ooh look at her she's nice to see how people and wow you see this it's just a great place overall to see how people oh that's tough this is nice open a new tab that's nice uh who made that that's very very nice but you know comfy workflows is a great place where people can show off what they're doing to make the images that they're making and for you to download and create them but always remember a lot of these workflows if you just download them as is you're gonna be missing a lot of models a lot of nodes that you will have to install into them and we'll go over that a little bit towards the end of this video about how you would go about that but hold on let's look at this right here this is nice Y'all tell me y'all see her, y'all don't talk to that? Come on, this is, this is nice, this is very nice. OpenArt.ai, at this place, they actually hold contests for workflows and image output, pro, uh, and image output. so it's also great. And it's the same thing, you know, it's literally the same thing. You would click on, you would click on them, you would click download. You can even run a few of them. Like you see, it's, it wants me to prompt your face into any image, so what I would do is uh, I would even, I'll take a picture of myself. Cool. So I'll take a picture of myself right here. Create. And you see, would you look at that? So look, let's look at this really quickly. Okay. I mean, it kind of looks like me. A little bit of a uglier, nastier version of me. But yeah, it kind of looks like me pretty much. I can't be mad at it all that much. I mean, hey, I'm a wizard now. Uh, it did kind of plug in my face, made me a little lighter, but of course, that's why you have to, you know, that's the whole point. It's not to get it perfect, it's to show you what could happen. It's actually pretty cool. I could even publish this. That would be crazy. But yeah, now that I have it, I can actually scroll up. And then what would happen is I could come back to, you know, the workflow details. I can click download. And then it would make the JSON file. And I'll come back over to ComfyUI where I would load that said JSON file. And I'll okay, get, okay, you see? When loading the graph, the following node types were not found. Reactor face swap, nodes that have failed to load will show as red on the graph. So, you know, I was going to wait till a little bit later in the video, but I think now is a fine time. So what would happen is that you would actually just go into ComfyUI Manager, and it would say install custom missing custom nodes, and then you see right here, Reactor for Node, and you would just install that. And it says installing Reactor Node for ComfyUI. Now it's installed, and then I would have to restart all of Comfy UI. X out the terminal right here. Then I'm gonna head right back into that Comfy UI folder. Click run NVIDIA.GPU like normal, and then it's going to start up Comfy UI. We're gonna be back in business. And you see that it's currently installing everything for me. And once it's done installing, we'll be able to head back in there and the uh, workflow will should be working. Now the interesting thing is that even though we tried to install it, we still ended up with this reactor face swap error saying that, you know, it does not exist in our comfy UI. So we're going to close that. And then when you go back to manager and you see install missing custom nodes, you'll see import failed reactor node for comfy UI. So you would have to go over here. And again, like I said, it will get deep. Now you have to figure out why it didn't install correctly. What's actually beautiful about this guy is that he actually helps us with a bit of troubleshooting. He says, uh, as you can see right here, um, for Windows users, if you cannot build inside face for some reasons or just don't want to install Visual Studio Code, then you know do the following. Or this one, it says, if you have the attribute error non-type uh, object, you know, can I get or whatever. And at that point, if you have things like that, you would definitely want to read what's going on here and then use some of what he's explaining to actually fix that error. Now, I'm not really going to do that because the actual purpose of bringing his particular model in here was to show you um, kind of what you need to prepare yourself for when you start working with other people's his workflows. Still though, we didn't really need his workflow to have fun with it because as you saw before, I was able to run it and show, see myself as a wizard, so abracadabra. Now we can go over to rundiffusion.com which also has comfy UI workflows. Here you could try some of these workflows online for only 50 cents per hour, which is pretty cool, but you know, you don't have to necessarily do that either. What you can also do here is see, we can actually open this image in a new tab and then click save image as. 
So now we have yet another image that we can drag and drop into our workflow, which is pretty fun at this point. You just click load the PNG file image and then boom, now we have yet another workflow that gives us like this Spider-Man situation, which is pretty exciting. But again, if you cue the prompt, it very likely you have some errors that, and again, these errors shouldn't scare you. You just gotta really read through them and look through them. The more you do it, the easier it will become. And then lastly, for very simple workflows that you can pretty much use to help learn more about workflows and expand your own, you can come to the GitHub page that shows all types of workflows that are pretty easy to start using right out the gate. So look at this one. This is an in-painting workflow. This workflow is what gives us the ability to you know, kind of draw what we want in an image so that that drawing prompt gets put in the image. I hope that makes sense. And as you can see with the in painting, what they do is that they kind of make a silhouette of what they want and then you use a prompt to show what you want there. So here they in painted a cat, here they in painted a woman, and it also says that it works with non in painting models such as anything V3 model, which I guess gives you a anime girl, and it also works with out painting, which kind of like changes like the landscape. So as you can see, if you see right here, this was like greenery. But now it's like dirt, you know? So that's pretty exciting. And all you have to do is kind of take this image right here. You would just save image as. It's an in painting example, pretty simple stuff. See, with the GitHub stuff, you don't really have to worry about it being too complex because it's usually, it's actually meant to be simple. And now we have the workflow for in painting. But again, as always, if you cue the prompt, you'll see that it's going to need a few things. It needs a custom image. Uh, in fact, the image that it's looking for is Yosemite in paint example.png, which is the actual picture that was on the GitHub. We're going to go get that picture. And then it says checkpoint loader simple, value not in list 512 in painting. So remember, we're going to need to get these safe tensors as well. And we're going to, have to download that, then put it into our folder. So let's go Google that really quickly. It pretty much takes us to Hugging Face where this bad boy lies. And then you can just click download right here and go to where that file is. You see the save tensors file is right here. You want to go into Comfy UI, go into models, go into checkpoints, and then you're going to drag and drop this bad boy right here. And so now you have it in the folder. Then you would just come back to Comfy UI. You're going to refresh this. Now that it's refreshed, you should now see it right there 512 in painting email dot save tensors you're going to click that and then if you were to queue prompt again now you should only have one error which will be the custom validation for invalid image so then we're just going to go back to that github and take that image right there so we're going to save this image right here yosemite in paint example you see right here i'm going to save that i'm going to come back over into comfy ui choose a file to upload it'll be this in in fact and then boom now we're ready to go and again, the workflow is kind of already set for us. If you look at what the uh, prompt is or what the positive prompt is, you know, close up photograph of Maine Coon uh, cat 1.2 in the use in the Yosemite National Park mountains nature. Don't ask me what the 1.2 is about. I actually need to go learn that myself. And then, you know, it's going to run and then we'll have the same image and boom you see that right there we got the same exact image so this was a nice simple workflow to copy didn't take a whole bunch of models like the other ones would that's workflows for you that's how you can share workflows get workflows four sites you can get them from two sites that you can upload to have fun with it run them online all types of things listen if you appreciated the video remember to give this a like and subscribe to the channel for more ai content like this i really appreciate it have a great day